It's homeschool co-op day for my oldest child, Alex, and her best friend, Meg. Every Friday they go to Tulsa to a homeschool co-op and my best friend, Hyacinth, takes them. Every single week, she takes them, stays with them all day, and brings them home. The last thing Hyacinth needs is to worry about cooking dinner every Friday night. So I'm gonna whip up some yummy beef stew with cheddar cheese grits for Hyacinth, and that way she won't have to think about dinner at all. I've got two pots going, because I'm actually gonna make one for Hyacinth's family and one for mine. I'm gonna brown the meat first. I got a chuck roast and cut it into big cubes. I actually haven't told Hyacinth that I'm making dinner for her. I'm just gonna run in and pick up Alex like I always do, and then spring dinner on her at the last minute. Okay, the meat's nice and brown, so I'm gonna go ahead and take it out of the pot. It's by no means cooked. It looks like it is, but in the stew, it's gonna simmer for a couple of hours, and this chuck roast gets so tender. I'm gonna add an onion to each pot. The pot is nice and brown. It has a lot of bits from the meat in there. And then I'm gonna add about three cloves of chopped garlic to each pot. All right, now I'll just stir the onions and garlic around a bit. The pots are so hot, they're almost translucent already, so I really just need to cook them for about a minute. So I'm just gonna take a break and grab a couple beers. It's been a long day. Just kidding. I'm gonna add the beer to the stew. This gives the stew really great flavor. I'm just gonna add 32 ounces of beef stock to each pot. Now to the pots, I'm just gonna add a few dashes of Worcestershire. Worcestershire always adds a nice savoriness, a little bit of richness. Then I'm just gonna add a little bit of tomato paste to each pot. Gives a little bit of a tang, gives the sauce a little bit of richness, so good. And I like to add paprika to the stew also. It gives it a great flavor, but it also kinda helps with the color. And then I'll add a little bit of sugar to each pot. Now the last thing I need to do in this stage is add the meat into the pot. So I'll just slide half into this one and half into this one. Okay, now I'll just stir the meat in, make sure it's all combined. And then all I need to do now is be patient. I'm gonna put the lids on the pot Turn the heat down, let the beef stew simmer for about an hour and a half, and then I'll put the root vegetables in, let it simmer until it's done. And Hyacinth is gonna be so happy. All right, the beef stew's been simmering away for about an hour and a half, and now it's time to add in the vegetables. I gotta tell you, oh, this smells so delicious. I smell everything, the beer, the broth. Now, I've got two carrots for each pot. And then I also have two parsnips for each pot. And then I have one turnip, and that's enough for both pots. It's about a half a turnip per pot. Now, I didn't want to add these at the beginning because the vegetables would be pretty much disintegrated. So this is the perfect time to add them. Let them simmer for about 30 minutes till the veggies are nice and tender. The last thing I'm gonna do is thicken up the cooking liquid a little bit. I'll drizzle in some beef stock into three tablespoons of flour, and I just wanna make a really, really smooth, pretty thin paste. Now I'll just add a little bit into each pot, and then it's gonna keep bubbling just for about 10 minutes or so, and it's gonna make the stew just perfect and rich and thick. I'm hungry.